Hello, my name is Clive. I work in the quarrying concrete manufacturing industry. Today we're going to demonstrate how to isolate a mobile crusher. First of all, we make sure that everybody knows that we're about to stop the plant. Make sure that the machine operator knows that we're going to stop the plant. Then we're going to turn off the crusher. After we turn off the crusher, the two people involved in the isolation process must apply their own unique padlock. So we climb the ladder. There's a self-closing gate. We go through the self-closing gate and we go as far as the isolator. We apply a multi-hasp and each person applies their own individual padlock to the isolator. Just because we turned off the isolator, we need to confirm that the isolator is actually working. So then we come back down the ladder and we go to the control panel and we put in the ignition key, turn on the ignition in the crusher and to confirm the isolation. When there are no lights on the dash, that means the crusher is correctly isolated and now it is safe to proceed with the work. Hopefully this short talk will assist you with your isolation procedures within your own companies. Thank you.